Hi there, this is Valentine, and in this tutorial, in just a few seconds, I will show you how you can create a post request with Postman. So let's go ahead, open up a new tab. The first thing that you need to think about when creating a post request is selecting the correct HTTP request method. And in that case, this is post, and post will allow you to send a body, the payload of that request. I'm going to use here a service called HTTP bin. And the endpoint that I'm using from HTTP bin is the post endpoint. And this service works like a mirror. It will send us back anything that we're sending and is very useful for learning purposes. Now, going to this body part, this is essentially what makes a post request a post request, your ability of sending some data with that request. And there are various things that you can do. Form data allows you to send some data. This is quite typical if you're trying to submit or test a regular HTML form. And I did another tutorial that goes about this in depth. For many of you, what you're trying to do is probably to send some JSON. So if you're trying to send JSON, click here on raw. This will open up this entire field where you can write some JSON. Here, instead of text, select JSON. And you can go ahead and write some JSON. Now, make sure that whatever you're writing is valid JSON and not something random. Just to give you a short example, John is the name. And let's say we have here something like age. So just some test data that we're using here for this request. This is when the request is going out. And what's important to notice here in the response, you will find this property called JSON. And this again indicates that whatever you have sent has been properly received. If we make our JSON invalid, for example, by leaving out this comma here after the first line, if I send this again and look at the response, you will see that JSON is null. And you will see even the editor itself is trying to tell you, hey, there's something missing. We've expected here something. Just as well, if you don't use the proper format for JSON, for example, don't include a string between quotes, again, this will not be valid JSON and it will not work. So just in a few minutes, I tried explaining you how to submit your first post request in Postman. I hope this was useful. If this was the case, give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this channel for more Postman tutorials like this one and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.